So there's this thing I did recently where I built a sentiment analysis application with just 10 lines of JavaScript code, one HTML file, and in total, 37 lines of code. I want to show you how I did that, and I want to show you how you can do that too. So I came across this machine learning library a while ago named ml5.js, which makes machine learning on the web really straightforward and easy. Like this is something that anyone can do. Like even if all you know is HTML, CSS, and a bit of JavaScript, you can actually start building machine learning applications like this one. This is my sentiment analysis movies and um, analysis application. And for movie reviews, this was a good movie. And the application knows that it's a good movie. The prediction here says 0.9, that should be around 99%. So this is in probability, everything is over one when it comes to sentiment analysis is from prob is probability of zero to one. So if it's zero, that means no chance at all. 0 0.5, not sure. And then you have equals 0 0.5, okay, you're sure. So 0 0.9 and the, the highest is one. So 0 0.9 here says, oh yeah, this was a good movie. And we have this um, SVG icon for hey yeah this was really a good movie <laughs> and then let me say this was a terrible movie and look at that so our prediction is at 0, 0.0 and um we have the icon that says oh no this was a terrible movie <laughs> and let's say this this was just a mid movie so we have 0.5 as our prediction right here and i'm going to show you what we did how we're able to even get this in real time get the predictions in real time using just html css and javascript one file First of all, we have our ML5 GS library, which you can get started with right away by using just just the CDN link. So right here we have script SRC, and then you have the link to the ML5 GS library, and that's what we did right here in our code base. So I'm just going to close this link tag right here, and look at that on line 12, we have the script tag for um, and this is all we needed to do to get ML5 GS inside of our application. And right here on line six, where we have the link, that was me using Bootstrap so that we don't waste any extra effort writing CSS. And that's how we ended up with just one index.html file. So this is just Bootstrap CDN. And then now over to the body, um, line 16 to line 20 is where we have a div with the form. So this form input right here where, where you can type, if you the last movie you watch, then you can type, um, you know, the review for your movie and the text area, the image, and all that so the img tag right here is this image you can see that shows us the uh, moods of whatever movie we've watched whether we're sad about the movie whether we are just mid about the um, neutral about the movie or whether we are excited about the movie so that's where we have img for on line 19 and then we have the id result image and src right here which contains this image now um, we are giving this img tag an id because we need to change the tag based on the prediction of whatever we write into the the text box so that's what we did right here which is the area of interest for our application line 22 to line 35 we start with a script tag because we want to write a javascript code and on line 23 we're getting sentiment from ml5.sentiment and remember ml5 was what we got right here on line 12 so we have access to ml5.sentiment and what do we want to predict we want movie reviews so this is what you're going to write if you want to do this for yourself so ml5.sentiment and then um as an argument you have the string movie reviews that's telling ml5 that you want to predict movie reviews and next we're getting a text element from the text box document or get element by id text we're getting the result image document or get element by id result image so that's the um, image element and then we're getting the score element so the score element is this one you see right here so let's write good movie and this is right here we have 0.98 for score and that's where we have the score element from which you can see right here on line 18 so the p tag with id of score and next from line 28 to line 33 is where we're doing our prediction now that we've gotten um, sentiment, we've gotten our different elements. So let's do that. So line 28, text element dot add event is now input and then unchanged. So every time we type something into this, our prediction is going to run. That's why you see it happening in real time. So this was why we're still typing, we're getting our prediction shown to us in real time. We just HTML. <laughs> so yeah, that's how we did that. Um, text element dot add event listener and then input. So once we type anything, we have line 29, which says, okay, now let's predict. And since we've gotten sentiment on line 23, we have sentiment dot predict, and then we're predicting what the value of text elements, which we have here on line 24. So whatever I write here, that's what we're going to use to get our prediction. That's all we did. That's all we did to predict 
at text that's all we did for sentiment analysis and by the way i have a much more broken down sentiment analysis tutorial where we did every like ml5 just we don't really do anything we just say ml5 do this prediction for us and we have the prediction in our application but i have a um, technical article on a step-by-step -step process to sentiment analysis breaking everything down where you where you do it by yourself basically um so on line 30 i'm gonna link that in the description of this video that was done with node.js line 30 we have square element in a text and that's basically so if we log score to the cost let's log um so what i'm just going to do is comment this out and then i want to log um prediction to the console without getting without um the structuring score from it so let's log this and then we have prediction right here oh come on give me that prediction right here and over to a browser let's see what we have so we type something into the input box and let's clear this and then good movie so look at that this is our prediction right here where we have score and that's basically the only thing we have <laughs> in our prediction object so that's why we just got score directly right here instead of having prediction dot score we just destroy just score directly from prediction and on line 31 so let's remove our console.log statement what did i change here let's see what's vs code saying so oh it's core and not store on line 30 right here we have score element or inner text and this is where we are setting the inner text of the score you can see right here so good movie and then inner text is being set to 0 0.98 or 0 0.92 or 0 0.87 so um next we're saying if the score is greater than 0 0.7 so this is what i'm using for my prediction so if it's greater than 0 0.7 then it's a happy movie but if the score is in the range of 0 0.3 to 0 0.7 then we're going to say it's neutral but if the score is less than 0 0.3 which is which you can see on line 32 well that that was a sad movie so that's um ml5 just doing our prediction for us we're using score and our conditional statements to tell our users that oh this was a happy movie or oh this was a neutral movie or oh this was a terrible terrible movie and on line 33 right here this is where we're setting that neutral movie asset so the result image of src um attribute is what we are updating in order to change and update the images so the same thing we have here on line 31 assets happy.svg on line 32 sad.svg and we have a movie reviews application 37 lines of code with just ml 5 gs helping us do all of the work you should try this out anyone can try this out you know html css and javascript do this send it to your friends and brag that you created a sentiment analysis application that can predict what they're thinking um, or how they feel from the movie review and let's review the latest doctor strange movie this was a terrible movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a terrible movie thank you very much for watching and um see you in my next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and destroy the like button for me thank you very much let me hear from you in the comment section below and view this view this and send it to me right now oh, right now right something you can view in 30 minutes right now right now right now <laughs> bye